right, we got ABK JT with us today. How you feeling today? Shit, good. Just shot a video to my latest single, um, Letter from October, so y'all go check it out. Y'all see that. Facts, facts. So, where are you originally from? Greenberg, Georgia. Like, that shit's some country shit. Like, Walmart, um, got it. Yeah, it's just yeah. kind of small, like, everybody know everybody that name. Like, ain't, ain't that too major. No, nah, facts. Like, where that's at? Like, the south side? Like, what? It ain't even in Atlanta. You gotta go out like an hour or 15 no, just yeah. to get in my city. That's where you grew up at? Yeah. Alright, but shit, how was it like growing up out there? Like, it went bad, but it went all good. Though. Like, right. You had some time to know some shit, but no, majority of the time, I'm on to hit shit well. No, fast, with some fast. of the shit, so I ain't really see too much, but I know no, shit fast. going on. Shit, alright, so shit, where do the name ABKJT come from? My yeah, name was yeah. different before on um, the ABKJT was like for MBIK, but then I switched it to ABK. But ABK J like it like my brand. Yeah. So shit, my brother them started, my brother didn't blow them. And shit they kinda I kinda kinda grew up in the shit. So Oh okay, alright. Like, so like I ABK like a group. Yeah, it, it like our label. Like, oh, it's okay. a way of life, like it kinda like a movement. No, okay. Like, and our city the shit definitely a movement. All the young kids fucking with it, so so shit, how long you been making music? Like what? Like, I say about four or five years. Four or five years. Yeah, I was kind of young when I started that shit though. It was on some plan shit. Yeah, it just got kind of like I kept fucking with it. So yeah. So you basically been serious for five years. Type um, shit or oh no, you just started type. I ain't shit. gonna say I just started. I yeah. said probably like when I really started being with Blow. No okay. way. It was on some serious shit. Like, I was always, like, I play with it. But then when I got around blow them, it was kind of like, okay, I see I can blow with the shit, so why not just lock in with it on some, on some shit like that? So. No, facts, facts. So, shit, goddamn. What you working on right now? Like, what's, what you got going on right mm -hmm. now? Well, I just worked on a video, like I just said, but I ain't got no, I ain't really working on no project right now. So it kind of just like singles and shit, just putting out a lot of video, basically kind of, kind of trying to gain a fan base with it. No, but on some shit like that, cause I can drop music all day, but it's not too many people see it. That shit really just the way. So we really just trying to come down Atlanta, build a fan base, all this shit. So when I do drop another project, the shit gonna do good. Like don't get me wrong, my last project did good, but I feel like with the marketing, all this shit would have played a part, and it would have been way more than what it was. Like it's still good, but it ain't what it could be or some shit. No facts. So what was your last project? Like, what was the name of it? My last project was Mr. Thornton. I dropped it in like April, April 26th, like eight song, one feature. So, yeah. that was some cool shit. Like, that really just showed me, like, from where I'm being shit possible though. Because yeah. in our city, the only other big rapper was Fujiano, so. Yeah, facts. Outside him, it really just small people kind of stepping up to the plate, so. No facts. Also, wait, Fujiano from the same place you from? Yeah. We grew up in the same neighborhood. Well, I moved over there to like their neighborhood. Damn, that's wild. Damn. So, Sue, who would you say is your biggest influence, like musically, though? Right away, because he getting a message across without having to say, he killing 10,000 niggas. Like, <laughs> no, but. That shit be happening, but him, he just, the shit he be saying. Like, you, I can relate to it way more than I can relate to any other rapper. Like, he's saying some shit I felt. Like, I listen to him, but I can't, I don't really relate to all that. Yeah, 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 shit, right. they be talking about some bullshit, so. Yeah. Right away, like, I kind of felt the shit he be saying type shit, so. Definitely him. You can hear it in my music, though, because I don't make, like, I can make hype music, but I don't really tend to do it. Like, it kind of some chill shit, some pain shit, or some real shit, so. Yeah, I definitely get a lot of inspiration from him. So wait, do you in your music? Do you be are you like a you know what I'm saying? Are you 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 be singing with it or you just strictly be rapping? Um, I can finesse the sound really. So it kind of both, but you're not gonna know it both. You yeah. sit there gonna be like, bro, that nigga really out here to roll the whole beat. You know, you know no, what I'm saying? Like you ain't gonna really pay attention to and my singing and rap. You just be like, damn, this shit really sound good. So no, right. It kind of like a different type of sound. Like it got some singing in it, but it also got some like hella melody. Yeah, hella, hella melody, melody type melody. shit like. Yeah. Shit like that. Yeah. So, what are three things you need during your studio session? Um, now, some weed. Yeah. Some drink. And probably like.
the studio I go to, we have a little bag of chills. So some chills or some any type of candy, snacks, some shit. No, facts. That shit, but before, I ain't used to, I ain't used to need nothing. I was just bullshitting with it. Yeah, just going in there, making some bullshit, but none of them serious. Like, that shit really just helped me lock in, like smoking a blunt. While I recording, actually be some chill shit. Kinda let your brain run free. You just gonna say any and everything, and that shit just gonna go. So definitely, we water and food. So, so, so shit. Do you see yourself like? Do you plan on staying independent, or like would you sign a deal? And if you had to sign a deal, who would you sign a deal to? Like right now, like who would you sign to? Mm, I'm gonna answer the first one first. Like, do I want to stay independent? No, but the deal gotta be seen. Like, I'm just not gonna go sign no bullshit besides sign the deal. Like, it gotta make shit on all ends of the deal, every aspect of the deal. But if I had to sign with somebody right now, I'd probably say, mm, CMG. Yo, got it, yeah. I just feel like he do a lot more for his artists and shit. Like, all his artists pop. How Baby got like New Hood, Key, all of them. No, and you only know someone, I feel like they do the most in their group to get you out of there. No, I love artists. Definitely. All right, so shit, where do you see yourself in five years? Damn, that's a hard question. Yeah. Because <laughs> I know what, like, I want to be big. Yeah, facts. Like, I'm um, baby don't level, but I know that shit probably going to take That shit is possible, time. though. It's possible, but you got to sit back and look. Like, five years, I got to. Beat every other rapper to get the baby, and I gotta beat him to be the best. Shit, that's what happened to baby though. That's some shit to think about. He just started rapping. He started. He went past everybody. Yeah. So that shit. I definitely want to be on his level. Okay. So shit, if you had one big artist to work with, who would it be? Definitely Rod Wave. No. Man, why? I feel like what I how I rap and how he rap go kind of head to head. No. Okay. And he got a lot of melodies different shit in pockets and other beats and shit, so I definitely feel like we'll be able to make